Hey everyone, it's Asset here and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new here, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you will be notified on when I upload. So for this video, I'm actually going to recreate this photo right here. She's actually shown me this photo before and I'm not sure who did it. I'm not sure if she got this photo from Pinterest, um, but if you guys are aware of who actually did this design, please let me know or tag them so I could give that person credit. And the photo, the design is pretty simple, um, but I am going to do it a little bit different. But of course, starting off with her prep, we are going in with with a needlepoint cuticle bit. I'm using this at 5,000 RPM and for this, I'm just pushing back that cuticle, really lifting it and removing it away from that nail bed, just trying to expose more of that new growth. From there, I'm going in with my 180 sanding band and this I'm just removing the shine off of the natural nail bed and she did have a little bit of polish so I am just trying to remove all of that. Um, once again, I am using this at 5000 RPM. I'm going in with some coffin tips and I do pre-measure these making sure they are fully covering that free edge from sidewall to sidewall and then I do glue them on with some KDS glue. From there, I'm just going in and seeing the length that she wants. So I am just trying to cut it in half. I think that's like the perfect length because we are going to shape these more into an almond shape. From there, I'm going in with my 100, 180 grit hand file, and this is where I start shaping that tip more narrow. Um, we're trying to go more of like a rounded almond shape, um, and I do go over the surface as well just to roughen up that surface so the gel can have something to stick to, as well as blending that tip into the natural nail bed. From there, I'm going in with my dehydrator and this is just dissolving any oils that might have been left on the natural nail bed. And then I am going in with my clear rubber base and this I am adding a very thin layer, scrubbing it into that surface and then I will be curing it for a full 60 seconds. So for this, I'm going to use the Gel Bottle Inks Nude Builder Gel in color number three. And I'm just adding a thin layer first. I will cure it, but you are going to see me going back over it and building up that product. Um, so right now for this layer, I am going to cure it for 30 seconds.
So coming back to all of the nails, I'm going to add a wet layer first and then I am going to take a large amount and this is where I start building up that product as well as building up that apex. When adding a wet layer first, it's just basically like a slip layer and it just allows that larger amount of gel to kind of know where to fall and lay. Um, but when I do this process, I do make sure I cure it one at a time before moving to the next nail because I don't want that product to move as I'm working on the remaining nails. And I do flash cure it for 30 seconds before moving on to that next nail. After all of the nails are cured, I'm going in with some alcohol and a lint-free wipe and I'm just cleaning the surface of those nails, removing that sticky layer. From there, I'm going to go in with my 100-180 grit hand file and this is where I just start refining that shape once again as well as going over the surface just to make sure we have a smooth surface and the shape looks just how we want it to look. Going in with my fine taper drill bit, I'm using this at 13,000 RPM and I'm just going around that cuticle section making sure it is sealed as well as over the surface just to make sure we are refining that shape once more. <laughs>
Now I'm going in with my white buffing black and just buffing over the surface smooth and this just allows me to remove any scratches that might be there either from the hand file or from the drill itself. So for this design, I'm going to go in with this Art Clavo White Gel Polish. I actually got this one off of Amazon and I will link this on my Amazon storefront as well as anything else I purchased from Amazon on there. Um, but I'm just going in with my detail brush and I'm I am just creating a smile line and I will be painting that entire tip as well. And after I do all of the nails, I do cure it for a full 60 seconds. From there, I'm going in with my matte top coat. This one is from Nail Addict. I do have a discount code for you guys. If you want 55% off, I will have all of that information in the description box. But I'm just going over that white tip section. And then once again, I will be hearing this for 60 seconds. I'm going to be using these marble inks from Mia Secret in yellow, green, blue, pink, and purple. And each nail we're going to do a different design. So for the pinky, we're going to do that purple. The ring finger, we're going to go in with that pink color. And I'm just dabbing it on. We are going to move it around with some alcohol. So right now I'm just trying to get the color on. For the middle nail, we're going to go in with blue. The index nail, which is the pointer, we're going to go with a green color. And then for the thumbnail, we're going to go in with that yellow. And I do let these air dry a little bit before touching it with that alcohol. But as you can see here, I am just dabbing it a little bit with some alcohol, moving it around just to try to get the effect that I want. The picture shows... It looks like they took just gel polish, white gel polish with, let's say, like a pink and marbled it together and laid it on. I did not want to do that because I felt like in the photo, the tip section started to look too bulky. And I hate when nails look bulky at the tip. It just, I wanted this process to be as thin as possible. So for me, this was the best way that I could achieve the look kind of close, but not exact. And I like the idea of having the marble, using the marble ink on the tip itself. Um, so I'm just going to continue that within the rest of the nails, just trying to get that look that I want. And for this particular nail, I did have to add a little bit more blue because I felt like I blurred it too much with the ink. If you use too much ink, you can just make the whole color disappear. So if you feel like you need to add more ink, then do so. From there, I'm gonna go in and use this McCart's nail foil glue, and I am going to use a detail brush. And for this, I'm just gonna go right along that edge of that smile line, making a thin line. Now, this was a little challenging for me because since it's clear, it was really hard to tell exactly where that color, I mean, that polish was going. So I did take my time doing this because I wanted a thin line, but after I did all of the nails, I cured it for a full 60 seconds.
so I cut a piece of gold foil this is just solid gold foil and I just started pressing it on to that smile line and it just revealed a straight it wasn't even straight honestly like I did have a little bit of ridges but I kind of liked that effect of it not being so perfect um, but I just pressed it into the smile line itself and it just revealed that gold now I did end up missing up in those side corners on some of them so I did go back over it with some of that foil glue I did cure it again and I went back over with the foil just to make sure I got all of those sides and literally for the last step i just went in with some top coat this once again is from nail addicts i top coat all the nails and then i cured it for a full 60 seconds and i did go ahead and do two coats of this because i wanted to make sure that that foil was going to stay i know previously i did it a couple times prior and foil just tends to peel for me if i just do one layer so i made sure i did two coats of clear for this set and this is the final look i think they came out really cute and trying to compare it to the original photo that she brung in she was really happy with how they came out and that just makes me happy <laughs> let me know what you guys think of this set as always, thank you everyone for taking the time out to watch this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure you guys are following me on all of my social media accounts. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one.